So the REACT study was a phase, is a phase two randomized uh, controlled study in recurring glioblastoma patients. It had two arms. Uh, one arm was for patients who were naive to bevacizumab. Uh, but had progressive recurring glioblastoma. The second arm was uh, for patients who had received prior bevacizumab and had progressive disease. Uh, the most important and mature data associated with the study has to do with the first arm or the first cohort of patients who were bevacizumab naive. In that uh, uh, aspect of the study, we actually used a randomized controlled design uh, where half of the patients were randomized to receive bevacizumab plus rindapepamid Rindapepamid is an EGFR V3 synthetic peptide vaccine that's conjugated to the immunoadjuvant uh, KLH and given along with GMCSF. That was combined with bevacizumab in the study arm and the control arm. Uh, patients received bevacizumab, but uh, essentially a placebo vaccine consisting only of the immunoadjuvant KLH. The primary endpoint uh, for the phase two study was progression-free survival at uh, six months. Uh, and the study also looked at immunoreactivity to the vaccine. Uh, we saw very encouraging data with this, uh, in this study, somewhat surprisingly encouraging data, actually. First of all, the vaccine was well-tolerated. That we expected. Lots of good data supporting it's, it's a safe, well-tolerated vaccine for, for GBM patients. Um, we saw a surprising degree of immunoreactivity measured by antibody responses against the EGFR V3 mutant protein. Uh, over 70% uh, of the patients, despite the fact that they were recurrent glioblastoma patients and pretty heavily pretreated, uh, demonstrated quite robust humoral immune responses against EGFR V3. Uh, in terms of efficacy, uh, we did see radiographic responses that seemed to favor the vaccine arm of the study. Uh, but most importantly were benefits associated with the primary endpoint of progression-free survival, which at the interim analysis has reached statistical significance. So the uh, rindapepamid receiving patients having a, a over two-fold improvement in PFS6 rate compared to the bevacizumab plus control, uh, plus placebo. Uh, but most importantly for an efficacy point of view was the survival endpoint. And here we saw a significant Im increase in overall, median overall survival associated with the rendipepamid vaccine. Uh, and uh, interestingly, the uh, tail ends of the curve, the patients who are out doing well, seem to have a very durable benefit associated with the vaccine as well. Interestingly, when we look at the antibody responses to V3, the patients who had higher levels of antibody production seem to have a better survival endpoint. So that also may provide a uh, biomarker to predict which patients are gonna benefit from this uh, promising new therapy uh, for this very difficult uh, subset of glioblastoma patients to treat.